Dad, Mom, this is the guy. How do you, you don't even know this guy. She goes, I'm just telling you, this is the guy. Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, and two people who are in it for forever. They met each other and became friends 11 years ago here at Cal Poly. Kirsten, our day is finally here. It's taken several years and a minor detour to get to where we are now, but I knew 11 years ago when I first met you at Cal Poly, that that smile, the smile you're showing me right now, is something that I didn't want to live without. Adam Melker, I would like to start by saying that you have had the most profoundly positive effect on my life. From the moment I met you, I've had butterflies. Having an instant crush, like that was something I had never felt before. Then over the years, as I had the pleasure of getting to know you, I experienced another feeling I had never felt before. True love. I vow to put our family first when the world feels like it's pulling us in a million different directions. And when we start that family, I promise to be the best father I can because I know you'll be the best mother. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've shown me more love than I ever thought possible. And being in love with you is the best, most comforting and peaceful feeling in the world. Thank you for making me smile and feel loved every single day. Thank you for believing in me and seeing the best in me. Kirsten, I promise to support you through any and all of life's struggles. And I promise to have an arm wrapped around your shoulder to share in life's beautiful moments. I vow to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are as well as who you will become. I promise you my loyalty and my unconditional love forever. I vow to treat you with compassion over fairness because we are a team now and for always. You have been and stayed by my side through challenging times in the past and I vow to be that sturdy rock for you in the future. I vow to keep our lives exciting, adventurous, and full of passion. I vow to show you every day that I know exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. I admire your kindness that you so freely extend to anyone and everyone and that your time with your family and friends is your most prized possession. I promise to let your soft touch, your beautiful smile, soften my heart when the world, work, or the Dodgers losing back-to-back -back years in the World Series tries to harden it. <laughs> Finally, I vow to choose you, always. I will choose you over and over without pause, without hesitation. I will choose you every time. You are the love of my life. And by the authority of your own true love, it is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Adam, you can kiss your bride. I have never been more excited. You're my person, my love, and my life, today and always. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. Falling in love with you has been the best adventure. I love your sense of adventure, Kirsten. You're fearless in that way. Uh, Kirsten and I met in high school. We became friends immediately. Uh, she was smart, beautiful, funny, and so much fun to be around. Uh, she reminded me so much of myself 
And you will notice we all say Adam Milker. It's not just Adam. It's a thing. Even my grandma had heard the name Adam Milker. Oh, Adam. It was Adam Milker. Adam Milker. Adam Milker. Adam Milker this. Adam Milker that. His two names became one connected word. Adam Milker. Adam Milker. It's Adam Milker. When it finally, he, he asked her to come down to Newport Beach and spend a weekend with he and his family. And what does she do? She goes, let me get back to you. We're like, what? Are you effing joking? <laughs> After the night of their first kiss, jump, person jumped on my bed in utter glee to share her exciting news. He's also extremely good looking, so that helped. <laughs> uh, we met him, we met him in his bathing suit, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> There's a key word in here, it's an operative word that relates to all of us, and it's love. What came out was, I absolutely love your brother and I want to marry him. And it was funny, even better, later on down the night, it's when Adam comes up and goes, I can't wait to marry her. Love is a weird word, it's, it's, it's great. When you have it, it's enigmatic, it's, it's hard to define. Uh, we all either are experiencing it in some form or another. We all yearn for it. We all hope for love. We, I, but I hope that you two discover the love that my wife and I have. But he, he really is the best dude, and he's the guy I look up to most in the world. And I love you guys together, and I wish you nothing but the best, and, and cheers to a lifetime full of love and happiness. And in as much as it's tough to give your daughter away, I can't even imagine um, anybody other than Adam Helker. This kid is the greatest kid we've ever met in our lives. In all these years and experiences together, it was evident her would be a lifelong friend. Her zest for life, her positivity, her openness to trying new things and meeting new people are just some of the things I love about her. I think everyone would agree, especially Adam, that you can't help but thrive off person's positive energy. In all honesty, Adam is one of the best, most fantastic people in the world. And to watch this wedding come together is the most beautiful thing my family could ever ask for. Uh, when I met him, there was something about him that was just very, I couldn't put my finger on it. And what I did know immediately was that he teased her like he knew her for years. He, he really got her. He just got her. He knew exactly who Kirsten was and all of her things. He instinctively and immediately loved and cared about all of us who were her friends. Um, he really cared about what we thought. He's a stand-up guy. <laughs> Dude, you were a stand-up guy then, you're a stand-up guy now. And I really, it just says a lot about you. He came home and he goes, Dad, I want to play ball at Cal Poly. And I go, whoa, 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 easy. How much are they offering? <laughs> the cheaps, cheapskate that I am. And he says, I don't care what they're offering or what any other college is going to offer. I will pay for that school. I want to go to Cal Poly. 
Here I thought it was for baseball. It was for her. Thank you for giving my friend the freedom to be herself, for pushing her to be her best self, and for getting her. Thank you for contributing to this beautiful mess of a family that's been expanded today due to the union of these two incredible people. Uh, and above all though, thank you for approving that family or the friends you get to choose. I absolutely adore this dude. And Kirsten is one of the best people I can ever imagine having in my family. I would never ask for anybody else but you. This is a blessing in heaven and you guys have the throne. I wish you nothing but the best. I love you. Thank you for letting me call you family. Great memories, and I'll never forget it for the rest of my life. We've had so much fun with you, and we just appreciate everything you do for her. We're absolutely thrilled and just impressed by your commitment to her. Thank you for loving her beyond measure in exactly the way she needs to be loved. And to Kirsten, yeah! thank you for always staying true to yourself for proving that risks are always worth taking and for never settling for anything less than what you deserve. All right. You care about people so deeply and deserve to only be surrounded by the best and holy shit, you got it. <laughs> I've realized what life is about for me. It's finding that person that makes you happy. The person you can't wait to see when you get home. The person you can no longer see your future without and creating a life together with that person. I'm so lucky that I found this person in you.